I get car sick sometimes in the back. So do some of you, I've heard. I was with a couple of guys early, early one morning because we were still awake from the night before. So these two guys called each other by their last names, even though they were a couple, which was this kind of like, I don't know, mid fifties or can't abridge thing. So they called each other Evans and Rafferty. Rafferty was talking about his favorite musical. And I asked what it was and he said, you can guess. And I didn't. And it turned out to be Sunday in the Park with George. And I said, well, I tried that one. And he said that you have to mature into it. And I did in my 30s. And it's a beautiful show. And I see now why it got the Pulitzer Prize. It speaks about art and creativity and the relationship between artist and work of art and artist and other human beings and artist and humanity and artist and the art world. It's a lot of relationships to manage. And in the play, Georges Seurat does not do such a good job of managing all of it, except at the end of act one where he's assembling all of the models whom he has already painted and done sketches of throughout the course of Act One. And he puts it together, and you can hear my voice going on it because there's something extraordinarily moving about it, and I don't know why. And I think some of the most powerful stories are the ones that move the person, move me, move you, move the people you know and love, in a way you can never explain. So I will simply say that he's moving everyone after there's been a chaotic fight, screaming, yelling, and he says, order. And then he talks about all the other principles of painting. We've heard him talk about design, composition, balance, light, dark, harmony. And the cast slowly walks into place. Some of them are partnered with cutouts that rise from the floor, things come down, things come in, and all of a sudden, through this number called Sunday, we have the famous work of art that hangs at the Art Institute of Chicago, and there's something extraordinarily moving about it. And I can't say why, and I can't tell Stephen Sondheim why, and he can't tell me but there we are pausing on a Sunday, on an ordinary Sunday, by the soft green elliptical grass. <laughs> 